pretty much a, a, a hula presentation, a more, a more formal presentation, starting with songs for the gods, and then for the ali'i, and finally for the maka'ainana. Um, in such a performance, usually the last dance is what we call a ma'i. The ma'i uh, was written for the ali'i and for a very special part of their body that help uh, make more brownies. Uh, these ali'i all had their own special ma'i names. And uh, this one, this ma'i is for King Kamehameha V, who um, owned that area down, well, many places, but uh, Moanalua was where his home is, too. Uh, I have seen, you know, it's really important when you teach hula that you know your history. One of the things about my teacher was that she would never teach songs to people who are not the right age. So this is a ma'i, and I have seen it performed so many times by children. Well, perhaps these are new times, but I'm still kind of old-fashioned about that. So um, this is a little bit of a ma'i to end our evening with you all this evening, because this next group that coming that's uh, to be playing for you all is one of my favorite groups in the whole wide world. Not as much as bread, but I love these guys very, very much. So. Ladies and gentlemen, the art, the craft, the skill of hula, for many who live and breathe hula, it is that very essence of life that we acknowledge as the heartbeat and the pulse of hula. And therefore, hula becomes a very personal 
thing, one develops a very personal relationship with Hula, mm -hmm. such as we have witnessed here this evening. And so we are extremely privileged. Most of the time, we have a little bit more formal presentation where everybody is dressed in all kinds <laughs> of uh, beautiful accoutrements. And tonight, you got a chance to see the different elements, the, the different faces of Hula from a very personal place. And thus, we are very blessed. Um, and Halal Nakamale has a very special place in my heart for that Halal has had great influence and impact upon the road that I myself have traveled.